Hi Shane here. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how I do tarps and bedrolls and what have you using Millipus. So um, I'm getting to the stage of my Shug build where it's time to start adding um, stowage and tarps and what have you. So I thought now was the perfect time as ever to um, show how I go about making them. So um, I'm just going to go through what, what I use and what I'd recommend using. So. Um, for rolling out the putty, uh, you need a non-porous um, surface. So I use a pane of glass, and um, this glass is sourced from uh, a cheap picture frame, because uh, a lot of us buy cheap picture frames as bases for dioramas. And what I didn't normally do is I just take the, the pane of glass out of it and use this for rolling my um, my putty out. You'll also need a little bit of water um, to keep for like dampening your fingers and what have you, so you don't stick to the putty. Um, I use something then for like as to act as a rolling pin, so I just use uh, um, a can just for rolling out putty. Again, anything kind of circular uh, will work. Uh, talc powder. So what we'll do now, since I have it here, we normally dust dust our surface with talc, and this acts as a release agent, so it doesn't um, stick completely to the um, the putty or to the glass pane, which you will without it. A scissors. Some type of straight edge. I just use a, um, a set square for uh, cutting and parting the um, the putty once it's rolled out, and a hobby knife. Okay, so we'll start. So I'm using Milli Put Extra Fine. And we'll just start working on this. So we have our two um, A and B sticks of Milli Put since it's an epoxy. It's a two-part putty, and I find it easiest to get like a, an equal mixture of two, just use the scissors, line them up roughly and cut. And then you can kind of, um, by eye go, do you need a bit more, so this needs a bit more of um, the lighter colour. And then how I like to knead it together is I just try to break it apart and keep mixing it in. And you'll immediately begin to feel that the texture has changed. And it will begin, begin. It will become more and more malleable in your hand as the two components begin to mix and mesh together. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is get a uniform colour, and that should be a very, very um, mo more like an off-white. And once you see that there's no other um, colours going through it, uh, you know you haven't eaten correctly. So I'll just keep breaking the part, mushing it together. And once, and also I can feel on my fingers now. It's become very soft, very malleable, and there we have it. And basically, that's all we're going to need for tarps. So what I like to do now is I'm just going to cover it in talc. I'm going to break it into one or two pieces, kind of like two kind of sausages. Roll them together, of various thicknesses. So we'll take this piece first. I'm just going to do it like so, and now it's covered in talc. And that's going to prevent it from sticking to our our, uh, our surface. Also, I'm going to cover our my um, my can. I'm going to use as a rolling pin in talc as well. So, quickly roll it out. And then, that's it. so kind of roll it out from various directions, laterally and like basically on the x and y uh, axis and across the way. And as you can see, it becomes incredibly skinny and thin and that's what we want and this is a great way too for doing things like um, if you want to do a camouflage poncho or something like that you could use this method if you wish now when it gets too skinny it begins to kink up on top of itself and it's too thin so I can take a little bit of water and just now bear in mind if you're using water and I'll show you what the water is for in a moment um, this is soluble to water, so do not um, cover your, your tools in water. So this is how I'm going to cut my, my, my piece to shape. So I'm going to take my set square and I'm going to run the edge of it along the water. And then I'm simply just going to push. And that should just come free. And there you have it. And that gives you a reasonably flat edge. And I'll just keep doing that. And I kind of get it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but again, we're keeping it damp. There we have it. You can always come back with a hobby blade to tidy it up. And then because one edge is a little uneven, I'm just going to 
to come in here and pinch that out. There we have it. Nice simple tarp. Very simple to make. Um, and then we can you can keep reusing these two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take our model and with some cling film, I'm going to cover the model surface that I want to mould the tarp to. So I'm going to put this this over here because I want to put a tarp hanging off the um, the cover. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of show that's kind of being folded, just add a bit of interest. Hope you can see that. So just fold it over on its side. I'll turn it like this just so you can see. And just basically I'm going to run run that down like so. And like there we have a very simple, nice looking tarp. And what you can do is you can because of the use something just to push this down to make it sit realistically and that's how we mould it to the model and if you don't like it you don't have to glue them down that's the beautiful thing about it so that's how I make tarps very simple tutorial not much to it um, don't need all that much